So just before you get into this video, uh, an update for this campaign. We released it less than a week ago. At this point, I guess it's five days. Uh, Shannon has secured tens of thousands of dollars worth of contracts and basically filled his calendar for the next couple weeks. He's done that on less, or sorry, filled his calendar for the next couple months. Uh, and he's done that all. At this point, he spent about $85. Uh, so just good targeting, putting the right offer and the right message in front of the right people. Uh, this was an incredibly, incredibly effective ad. If you are a contractor, a painter, handyman, any of those niches, and you want to get this, uh, and you're looking to drum up some business, this is the campaign for you. This 100% worked. So my buddy Shannon from Tucker's Home Improvements just packed up his business and moved back to Newfoundland. He's fresh out of quarantine and looking to get started building his business back home. Uh, but first, he has to ingratiate himself to his neighbors and let them know that he's in town. He has two audiences he wants to target, homeowners and real estate agents. Um, stick with me for a few minutes. I'm going to show you how to set up a messaging campaign on Facebook and Instagram that targets two audiences at the same time, optimizes a budget of $15 per day, and is designed to help him strike up conversations and get new business. Here we go. So what you need to know, first off, why messaging? In today's world, just the way it is, uh, basically when people are trying to do lead based campaigns, the first and hardest thing to get people to sign up for would be a book an appointment, book a Zoom consultation, book an appointment with me right now. That's pretty hard to do and it's gonna get you a higher cost per lead, especially if you're trying to get them to sign up on their own. Yeah, the second approach you could use is a call now button. And as much as that works when somebody knows exactly what it is they want, uh, calling is still something that people, you know, basically once we learned how to text, nobody wants to call anymore. So basically by setting up a messaging campaign, you're doing something that is very non-committal. So it lets people kind of kick the tires, um, see if you can actually help them. Uh, and if it seems like a fit, then you can proceed to a conversation. You know, with phone calls and appointments, people are really leery of getting sold. So through a messenger campaign, people feel like they have a little bit more control of the conversation, which makes it easier to talk to them. Okay, let's get into the build. Okay, so right here, uh, we are in our Facebook ads manager. We are going to click this green create button and here they're asking us to pick our objective for this one we want to say messages and then we will continue so with our campaigns we name them according to objective so we are going to say uh, we're going to call this hello neighbors messaging campaign all right uh, we don't need a special category we're going to do option our objective is messengers and right here we're going to turn on campaign budget optimization so campaign budget optimization means that the money is allocated by facebook at the campaign level so essentially whatever is performing the best um you know if you have one ad set that's targeting homeowners and one ad set that's targeting real estate agents uh, by turning this on we are going to be able to divert more traffic to the ad set that is getting uh, a little bit uh, of a stronger reaction so then the next question they asked us since we told them that we want to do our campaign budget optimization is how much do you want to budget we are going to say 15 dollars a day this is a brand new market. Honestly, uh, we've never run ads in St. John's, Newfoundland. We expect that they're going to be cheaper than Ontario, but let's see what happens. Okay, so with our ad sets, we always name them according to uh, who it is we're trying to target. So for this one here, uh, we are going to call it uh, real estate agents agents and we'll say 25 plus uh, St. John's 
to witless bay. So basically here we have who we're targeting, the age, uh, the location, and, and basically it's that easy. So we're going to go down right here, add type, click to message, account our Facebook page. That's the correct one. Uh, we have our budgeting set up. And now we're going to get down to our area. We're going to go people living in. We're going to switch here to people living in this location because we're looking for people that live here and work here. And now what we're going to do is go to... Uh, St. John's. Okay, so we have St. John's. Uh, now we're going to type in just some other places around here. Uh, Pity Harbor. Uh, and then same thing here. Current city only. And then finally, we're going to do Witless Bay. So here's our targeting, Petty Harbor, St. John's, Witless Bay. Because the company's headquarters is in Witless Bay, we're going to do that plus 20 miles. Because we're targeting real estate agents, we want to give them enough of an age where they're actually in the business. 65 plus, depending on the industry, it works or it doesn't. Because plenty of real estate agents work past their 65th birthday, we will leave that in here. And now what we're going to do is target some interests and behaviors of real estate agents. So uh, first thing we can do is type in real estate. So we have interests. What we want to do is actually get behaviors. Uh, so we're going to say real estate agent. OK. We can pick here. That's our first one. The reason we want to go with a demographic or a behavior is because essentially it's a stronger method of targeting. Lots of people like, you know, looking at MLS or Zwillow or stuff like that, but it doesn't mean that they are actually working in the industry. So now we're just going to kind of go through here and we're just going to keep throwing people in here that are going to fit our target market. We're also going to say works at Remax. Okay, so basically right there, what we've been able to do is target everything that seemed related to the real estate industry. Uh, no matter what, we still have less than 1,000 people. There's only, I think we saw 140,000 people in the St. John's area. Uh, so it makes sense that there isn't <clears throat> more than a thousand real estate agents that we can find. So because of this, our ad is going to get very far for not very much spending. So we're going to switch on automatic placements. That means it's showing everywhere. I'm just going to go down here. We're going to get charged on impression. So that means every time that somebody, our ad is served, it costs a cent, two cents, something like that. But between less than a thousand people that's going to make it pretty far pretty quickly okay so uh when we're at the ad level what we do is we just name the ad you know something that's easy for us to recognize i said who we're targeting plus the picks so um pick with truck So I just did that so that I'll be able to recognize it easy. Uh, Tucker's Home Improvement does not have an Instagram page that I know of. Uh, now I'm just going down here. So it's asking me to add the creative. That is either my picture or my video. I'm going to add an image. I'm going to have to upload an image. Click done. Now we're going to insert our primary text. Anyways, so we've copied our primary text. We're gonna paste it here. We are going to make it a little bit 
more uh, attention grabbing. So you'll see here by putting the alarms at top, basically this is gonna stand out more and give people, like it's framing our audience before we talk to them. So how can we help you? Have that in here. <coughs> For our description text, we are going to throw in their slogan for a straight line every time call Tucker's home improvement. So it looks like we are all set up here. We have everything good. We're going to set up for a start conversation. Okay, so what I've done here is I've uh, taken the template that they give us for frequently asked questions and I've just filled it in with some basic questions. What services do you offer? Uh, what area do you work in? Can I give you a call? Want more information? Uh, and then for all of them, we basically give a phone number and we answer the most basic questions that somebody would have. So now I'm just going to click save and finish. So now we have our messaging campaign set up. Uh, this is for selling agents in the St. John area. I'll check that out a little bit later. Okay, so this is part one done. We've targeted real estate agents. Now what we're going to do is duplicate this ad set just because it's a little bit easier and we're going to get homeowners in the witless bay area so i'm going to duplicate this and then rename home owners witless bay uh, and then we'll say plus 20 kilometers plus 20k or sorry miles um finally we'll do men and women okay now we're going to stick down we're still doing messenger we're going to get a lot of the default settings from the other ones now with our audience we are going to edit this we are going to take out petty harbor we are going to take out St. John's. Because the population is a little bit, well, definitely smaller here, um, we're gonna use wider age ranges than we normally would. Uh, we'll stick with all genders. And then now, instead of looking for real estate agents, we're going to delete all of our old targeting, and we're going to find ways to target homeowners. Now, in Saint, or in this basic area, we have a potential reach of 120,000 people. Not all of them are going to be homeowners. I would expect we'll probably get around 60 to 70,000. So to target these homeowners, we're gonna have to get a little bit creative. Facebook doesn't actually let you target people according to if they own a home or not. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to go with uh, home repair. So home repair interests. See, that gets us up to 12,000 people. So now we're just thinking of other things homeowners are into. So what if we say lawn care? Is there anything there? Lawn. Uh, let's say something about um, backyard. We'll also try things like uh, Home Depot. Even home, home improvement. Uh, see, that got us a lot closer to where we're going here. And I'm just going to take a few suggestions. 
uh, patio garden. That would be the same people. I was going to say interior design, 76,000 people. I think that's about a good audience right there of 120,000. To me, that makes sense, the amount of people that would actually have it. Uh, what we're going to do is automatic placements. That means Facebook is going to put it in as many locations as possible. Because this is a smaller ad and we want it to work for more than a day or two, um, we are going to go with that homeowners now i'm going to go up here this is the ad we just or sorry the ad set we just created out of the duplication so now what i'm going to do is go to the ad itself and the beauty of using the campaign budget optimization is you can talk to people um differently so when we talk to real estate agents, we're saying to them, you know, we can help you fix up your home. We're reliable, dependable, and get your clients top dollar. Uh, that's not something that homeowners are really looking for. So for homeowners, what we're doing is we're just saying hello. We're listing all of the services that Tucker's Home Improvement can do for them. And, you know, basically um we're just talking to them about what matters to them as opposed to one general ad that we send out to everybody okay and then for our images we are going to get rid of the ones that are here and we are looking for homeowners so what we are going to do here is upload a homeowner image. And for that, we have this great picture of Shannon hanging a clock on a wall. Okay, and then going down, what we did is stuck with the same uh, headline, although when we're talking to agents, we made it sound like we're a company. How can we help you? Uh, for homeowners, we want to be a little bit more personable. So we're going to make it, how can I help you? So you're the same. And we are all set up, call to action. We have our welcome message and we are good to go so i'm going to click publish on this one again so at this point we have our hello neighbors messaging campaign all set up we have it turned off i am going to pass this on to my colleagues who so that he can look it over double check everything. And if he says everything is set up correctly, because human error does happen, he's going to look into it, make sure everything's set up correctly. And then we are going to turn it on. So what can you do with this new information? Uh, this ad that we set up today is not only going to work for contractors, it's basically going to work for anybody in a smaller market with a limited budget. It's a great way of saying hi. And because you're optimizing at the campaign level, it's basically going to deliver to the most receptive audience more often than not. So I think we've done a great job setting up Tucker's Home Improvement with their uh, Welcome to the Neighborhood ad today. If you have any questions, uh, please just leave them below in the comments section. While you're in the comments section, please take a second to like, like subscribe, share, uh, and any other internet related thing that I'm supposed to be saying right now. Uh, past that, if you have any other, you know, if you have any other questions you'd like us to, to provide you with answers, just check out our Ad Ronin blog. We've already done a number of, of tutorials just like this. We've probably already done the one that you're looking for. All right. Talk to you soon.